everybody, my name is Chris and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Spider-Man SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom 100. I'm sorry I coughed the meme face. I hate memes. What can I say? They're stupid. And that is an invisible wall. Wonderful. Dude, SpongeBob. Um, let's head to Sandy Mount. Oh, I love that. It's instant. That's really cool. That was like a, that was literally a loading screen in the original, kind of. It wasn't really a loading screen. I played a little cutscene of that stuff disappearing, but now it's just natural. Let's go to Sand Mountain. Oh, we've got to give Patrick our socks. Oh, dang it. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. <laughs> what? You've used it before? Oh, yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robotness, and now everything's ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. This oh, angry storm. I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up. Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I've found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... They didn't, they didn't animate him with the marbles. That's funny, because they, they did it with the cars, they did it with the, the, the driver's license, but they didn't do the marble bag. Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one. Well, Oops. I don't know. It's Bones hard batches. to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal. Hey! Oh, just want to look, see what that looked like. That does not look as close to Bikini Bottom as it did when we were looking into this place. Sand Mountain! I have the... Whoa, it just... Why is that sitting like that? <laughs> I have a lot of memories associated with this this level. Um, specifically though, whoa, okay, I didn't expect to get that. Um, the most significant one though I have is I remember playing this. Mm, I don't know for the first time, but it was when I used to live in my small farm town. I was I was raised in. The first Sandman is dead. And um, also there's zero animation for that wonderful. Also he's sad. Boy, Patrick will be glad to but have remember, it was actually a day we're gonna be going to a parade. And there was a bee in my window, and it sucked a lot. There, there was just, it was in my window, or it was like in, on the inside, and I was horrified. And I don't remember, it was also like a, it was like a rainy day. Um, and uh, yeah, this is, this is like talking about dreams. Like, dreams are very interesting. The dreams you have are very interesting to you, but when you try to explain your dream to someone else, they're just boring and stupid and lame. That kind of, that kind of really sucks, because I wish, like, I kind of like listening to people's dreams. New model, nice. No, 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 no. Oh no! Uh, I'll just look down here. Another fine for Patrick. That's really like the biggest memory, and I don't know why. Like that's a memory that there's nothing really like significant to, about it, except I mean the bee didn't scar me for life. Like I don't know how we got rid of it, but I remember we got rid of it without it causing any issues. Like it didn't sting me or anything. I've only ever been stung once in my life, and that really sucks. Hi, Gary. <laughs> and, but like I don't know do you guys have any memories like that that like they're just so embedded in your mind even though there's no real significance to them like there's no like real like reason for it to be as strong of a memory as it is like it's so insignificant but for some reason it just it's just a very strong memory you could you'll never forget and that's just that's one of them playing this game on a summer's afternoon um, with a with a bee in my room um, in my window Hello, while I was my waiting most in to go to a parade. World. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. <gasps> Plankton, you're evil. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm. I suppose you could bungee down. Would you pay twenty-five hundred dollars for the bungee jump? Sure. We have the money. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where's the money? Where's the bungee? 50! We are now 50% through this game! Nice. <laughs> Keep up the good work, buddy of mine. And don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket. Chum bucket. 
Well, you're never gonna guess who we play out play as in this level. Along with SpongeBob. Uh, I think that's it though, right? So he's a bit smaller than I remember it being. Um oh hello. You don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. I didn't mean to come talk to you, Gary, but sure. It's funny, Gary wanted to talk to SpongeBob, but not me, alright? Maybe I can make it up there? I guess I was wrong because I'm stupid. You stupid idiot! So we want to jump up here. I like how sand is snow in this game. Very funny, very funny indeed. I feel like yeah, okay. I feel like I make this jump from here, you know? Oh god. <laughs> this is so glitchy, man. <laughs> we could definitely make that. Okay, let's go around first. I'll have to put up with the stupid. Dude, you could totally make that. Using the wa wonky ass. Look at that! Whoa, I got like a triple jump there! I. <sighs> <laughs> this game. Well, alright. Well, obviously the physics are broken. So you're obviously supposed to go in there and then, and then go from there. But, I mean. I mean, you know. Uh, so that's. <laughs> I think that's it for this entire section level. A very small hub. This level is actually separated into three se different sections. I like this level, and I don't like this level. Um, it's fun. I like the idea of it, but there's some very there's a very annoying soccer going to be going. This is this has a loading screen. Ooh, this has. So you guys heard me talk about the big three. There is the. Uh, the rolling ball in Mermelayer, and this is the second one. Usually rolling. Well, not now this one. The next. Think it's funny level. to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Look at us twitchy as usual, Mrs. Puff. Wow, that was a very low quality start, Banner. But all right, I'll take it. I'll accept it. I guess. Is that enough room? Blows up. Yeah, it's also a bit up the winky lady. She deserves it. For her crimes against huge manatees. Whoa. Do you get the same? No, I think you do go a bit higher. It's like, do you get the same height if you don't? Or, hold on. Is this the same height as this? It looks like it is. It looks like it is. Give me that combo. Ooh. Wow, that was almost 200 shiny bumblings. So, yeah, this, this is the gimmick of, uh... This part of the game, um, they just give you time, and you gotta beat them all. And okay, uh, I think I already missed a song. Wait! Oh hell yeah! Nice. And I'm actually a little bit worried about this. Wow, that was also very low quality as well. All right. Uh, so far, this isn't too crazy. Um, I forgot how hard the slides are in this game comparatively. Uh, the sock down here, I guess. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. So I sponge up so I whenever you see like blue lines like that that means you, you have to double jump whenever you see uh, Orange lines that means you only have to jump once see that you really can't really see them there, but they're there trust me <laughs> There's one there red lines whatever color. I guess that's more of an orange, huh? You just met ah, 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 I can tell her to go No <laughs> oh, There we go. Oh cool. Let's come to the slide in the original game that you actually you just walk there as if normal SpongeBob. Yay free try baby nice so we actually get two spatulas per slide. Two. Um, you get one from Squidward from completing it for the first time, and then you also get one from whoever you're racing against. So we actually get one from Mrs. Puff once you go talk to her, but there's also gonna be one over here. And as a kid, I was very confused why we got two two spatulas for doing one thing essentially, but I mean it's kinda not really one thing. It's kinda two things, I guess. I think I got all the socks there. I'm not too sure. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was a lot of weird shit happening at once there. There's a lot of low quality objects, and then too that that sand rolling thing looked very strange. So here's the the Squidward spatula. The stupid Unibrow killer, look at Dassy. Um, thank you. Wait, will this? Oh man. Wait, will shiny objects come up here? Will they go? Will they go through the whole level? Congratulations! You passed with. Oh, I just got now. Yay! That's funny. 
So unless we miss socks, which is possible. I don't know where like this level is so fast paced, it's kinda hard to remember where all the socks are. There's ten socks, we already have half of them. Uh, we already have like half the spatula it's ten minutes into this episode. Alright, let's go to the There's second level. Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like Not entirely sure what's the point of me showing this part, so I'm literally gonna pay this off and then go. In fact, maybe next time I'll just literally just load into the next level. So before we go in there, let's go pay this off right now, just so you guys can see how many shiny objects I have. Not that like who cares? I don't know, man. <laughs> let's pay this off. So like next when I beat it, and... oh, I don't want to go in there. Oh shit! Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna do this one right now, anyways. Because actually, the second slide is uh, I don't want to say it's the hardest, I'm but the there's a long is. task there. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Yes. So this is the third and hardest time trial, and I actually do think it is pretty dang hard. So I'm really curious who it was. Wow. See, once again, you couldn't you couldn't get that in the original game. You had to come back with a ability you got later. 120 seconds, huh? And um, if you switch to Sandy, they won't let you do the, the challenge of Sandy. So you have to do a sponge. What is there? What is on your arm? I think you might want to get that checked out, Larry. So this is actually very hard. I'm really, I'm not even too sure if I'm gonna be able to do this or not. But let's let's see what happens. Or I'm definitely gonna be able to do it, but you know. Oh, there's like little rails here. So this is soft. Patrick needs to do laundry. Oh! oh! So this is definitely, there's a bunch of like branching paths on this level. And I think you just kind of literally have to take the correct branching path to get down as fast as possible. And I don't know the branching path <laughs> off the top of my head, so. Ah, that, whoa, 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 oh my God, dude. Too close, there's a sock up there. We can't get that as SpongeBob though. We'll have to come back as Sandy. Sandy the Cheek. <laughs> Sandy the Cheek, so that's funny to me. That's a lot bigger of a snowball in this game than it was before. So this should be faster, I think. Where is it? Oh, you could jump. Oh, they, they freaking changed it. Boy, Patrick will be glad oh, sock. You could actually jump down. There, normally there's two signs that point at each other to indicate, oh, you could jump through the signs. But they just point both point to the left. So I thought that was the wrong spot. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna beat this this first try. Okay, I definitely was not that close to that sign, but okay. Whatever you say, whatever you say, that tiki slowed me down. Got some slow down there, wonderful. Uh, oh, wait, is this the final stretch? Oh, I love how you can see so much of the side of the back. Oh, that's really cool. Oh shit, my nose is, uh, I don't know the correct pathing. I wonder if they gave you more forgiving. Time on me on this. Guess we're about to find out if we beat this first try. 18 seconds. I think we're in the clear. Jeez. Wow, I'm actually very surprised. Wow, I did a first try. That's actually kind of crazy. I wonder if they made it a bit easier though. I'm not too sure. So maybe that's not as impressive in this game as it once was. Um, I just I remember that being very difficult in the first game though. Uh, die. What was I gonna say? Um. Crap. Oh shit, I don't remember. Oh, the the um the pathing. Or, or the sliding in general. The slide felt very strange when I first moved it, but honestly, it feels really good right now. I'm very surprised because at first, like in the first few slides, it felt very awkward. Oh my god, Jesus! Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I legitimately didn't expect that. <laughs> like uh, good gig. Good new gig. That dude's stuck there. Should we go put him out of his misery? Yeah, I'll do it. Look, he even had like his, his eyeball went up like he was smiling. Aw, you're welcome, little buddy. Oh, all right, okay, I jumped through that spatula. Now, do I go for that sock? Yeah, I should go for that sock now, huh? All right, wait, is there anything more here? Nope. Let's see that fish flap his little fins. Congratulations, SpongeBob, you beat my best time. Here's a spatula. I don't remember saying like that. Beat my best time. Pretty good. Yay! Okay, how many more socks do we have left to get? Because I know there's at least one more on this slide. However, if there's more, I, I don't know. Hmm. I think, yes, I think there's only one more. 
because I know there's there's for sure one sock in the slide on, on, on slide number two, and I'm pretty sure there is a. Uh... Okay, I did not jump there. I don't know why they made the jump sound effect. Then I'll press the A button. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's actually a, a second sock as well. Holy good lord, dude! I'm really hoping. I'm not gonna test it out right now, but in the original game, you could actually kind of use Sandy to not cheat the slide. But make your way back up the slide. And I'm really curious if that's gonna if they're gonna keep that in this game or not. Okay, thank god. So you wanna use that to come on up here. Alright, that looks pretty dang far. We made it somehow. And there's a dude Someone out of render distance there. Okay, <laughs> so this can be a bit tricksy sometimes. Okay, he didn't see me until I was right in front of him. Interesting. Great. Right, we got it. Cool. We have almost at 30 socks. Yeah, we got to talk to Patrick. I feel bad for him. I don't think I changed him after the memory layer either, did I? Maybe I didn't have enough. That's very possible. All right, I want to jump down. Also, oh, here it is. Okay. So I want to jump down those two signs because I didn't do that the first time. Yeah, there's a purple shiny object there, so. Did I get it? Well, something went there. I don't. I don't see what it was though. Um, surprised to hit those shish kickies. Anything else I want to see? Oh god, I might die. <laughs> You've hit rock bottom. We go down like another path. Should I just cut out this? I don't know. We're already at 60 minutes, so we're already kind of like at an awkward time range here. Wee. Yeah, like you literally like this part right here. You really had to decide which path you're gonna take in order to get down. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> in order to um get down the fastest, because Larry's time was not easy to beat. I really do wonder if they changed it. I think they probably would have had to, huh? I'm gonna cut this out. I'll see you guys on slide number two. You know what? I did say slide number two, but we're at like. 17-ish minutes here, so I'm actually gonna end it here because this next slide might take a lot of time So we're going to actually do this next time Wait, what? I didn't remember I spent my shiny. Oh my god. Did I get scammed? Did I get scammed? Wait, did I not press R before? To confirm Will it let me in? I thought you all... Anyways, so thanks so much for watching everyone. I'm gonna end it here and I'll talk to you guys next time